Good morning! Welcome to my studio and today I'm going to be sorting through some of these things on the floor here. Um, it does look pretty daunting but I'm hopeful. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting together this little cart that I found at um, Target. Actually on sale for $12.75. So, and we have these pretty candles there too. So I picked myself up a candle. It says salt. I'm going to put that down there. So I thought this was pretty easy to do the other, so we'll see. <laughs> One. I feel like I should go get a, a couple more of these cards because this is a, was a good price for twelve seventy five. We'll see how easy it's. But yeah, I already have other cards, so I don't really don't need a ton of cards. But so it's got these three trays. Which I think the cool. You could even just use them stack like that without the um without being a cart. <clears throat> and for the price, for the sale price, it's not bad. All right, so let's see if we can figure this out. Are there any directions? Ah, here are the directions. Um, okay, so the clearance between them are seven inches, which isn't great, but it's not bad. Um, okay. Not wonderful directions, but it says inside, so it goes on the inside. <clears throat> Let's move these two. Not really sure what these are for yet, but we'll find out. The directions anymore, do you? <laughs> so far, so good. I got a wheel. Probably could snap them a little better, but I'm gonna see. Now, I wouldn't expect this to, you know, I wouldn't really want to have one of these around to like give kids a little hugging or something because I feel like they would probably break it pretty easy. Whoops, there we go. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that was a good thing. <laughs> It says inside also. And they all look the same in size. <coughs> yep. So. Most good thing it says that these go on the inside because that would be confusing me. Okay, there we go. Guys, I gotta go get another one of these. They had them in white and a dark blue. And then this kind of neutral. I don't know if you call it gray or not, but. And then I guess these go up here so things don't fall down in there. <laughs> So you can see the whole thing. And that. All right. 
Now that we have our cart made, you might be asking, well, what is she going to do with that cart? I already have a cart by my desk that has paints and things that I want to use to do my collage. But I have all this stuff that I showed you a minute ago that's behind me. I moved over on the other side of the room so I could get closer to it. And I have bags and boxes of stuff that I need to go through. And so what I was thinking with this cart is that I have um, the top would be for things that are currently something I want to use. Um, the middle would be um, more like um, things from hauls, like when I go to the thrift store and stuff. And then um, the bottom <coughs> might just be some kind of tools. So for instance, let's start with this box right here. A lot of times after I'm done teaching my classes, then I have all this stuff sitting around that needs to be put away. So I have a stapler. It doesn't really have a place. It could go on my desk, but I'm gonna put that down in the bottom. Magazine, let's go in their own little pile. So this is how I sort. I just look at the things and decide which, where they need to go and make another pile <laughs> until the piles are gone. But the problem with this is that then I bring more stuff in and there's more piles. So these um, are an example of some labels that I bought recently at a thrift store. So I'll put those in the second shelf. <coughs> Here's another tool. I'll put that down in there. Um, these scissors actually should go out in the other room. So I'll put them there. Um, this brush is not for here. These trays are all from uh, my class and they have some stuff left over. So I'm gonna put that up here. <laughs> that would be easy. So it's an ongoing sorting process. And these trays will eventually go out in the other room. These are all leftovers from stuff that we did in class and I need to sort through those. So I'll put them in the top thing for sorting later. And continue to make a pile of things over here that you can't to put away. Um, <clears throat> these are some leftover ticket ephemera. These were um, my directions for class and so I need to put those in another folder that I have. So I'll set them over there. Um, this is a current um, little collage that I was working on. So I'll put that up there. These are some supplies um, that need to be stored somewhere else. So I'll put a stack, a stack over there. Here's another example. These are um, some ephemera and stuff that I might use in my junk journal. So I'm going to put them in the top shelf. So anything that needs to be kind of put into a journal or that I haven't decided what to do with it yet, that I hold on to, this stuff is for future projects. So this is kind of a pile of stuff that I've been thinking about putting in my um, junk journal and I haven't yet. So now that it's in the top shelf, I'll know that that's what that's for. And <clears throat> these were some dyed papers that I made when we were on our Kentucky Lake trip. So those could go, um, actually I'll put them, because they are kind of packaged, I'll put them in the, um, the, with the thrift store haul kind of stuff. Don't ask me why, but that's just what, it works for me. So when you're organizing, you have to kind of figure out what works for you. Again, these are all just papers left over. And then I'll have a nice stash of things to go through. These bigger papers, um, maybe I'll keep that one. And this one, and this, and then these will have another layer of sorting. These bigger pieces, I'm going to store somewhere else. And let's not start the house on fire. <laughs> okay, I lit my candle. <laughs> I just remember. Oh, brother. All right, these. <laughs> okay. Uh, packaging from uh, fake nails that I should just throw away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More little paper bits. Um, my this goes somewhere else. My nail file. There's a few of these nails left. Another tool and some more paper. Ephemera. But it's just nice having these three um, places to sort things because I usually don't have a place. I just stack it up. So now, as I get things, I'm hoping. 
<clears throat> that I will um, put them away where they belong or put them in this cart according to the categories that I just set up, which was current things that I want to use, um, things that I just bought and there's a new supply. Here's another thing I could put or in there. Um, I bought some new gesso, so I'll put that up here. If that's... And then this are just some paper clips and there's some nails, some fake fingernails in here. <laughs> and then this box, um, I will put aside too. Les got something in it, and I thought it was <laughs> interesting that whoever sent him this used a, a box that had already, you know, got some overspray or paint or something on it. And so I want to cut this up and use it. So that'll go elsewhere. And then here's my little. I, sometimes I keep these even though there's not another whole set because um, I can put more than one color on my nails, right? Everything in life can be a creative <laughs> pursuit. So that's again something else that goes to, needs to go elsewhere. So that's going to stay there. And a couple pieces of trash, so that's good. There's a trash can nearby. All right, so next, let's go into this little thing. <clears throat> this is um, some ephemera that I bought, so I'll put that in there. Um, all right, these are tickets and things left over from my the play that my son did this summer. Um, I think I there's a bunch of them because I wanted to do something with those. I have so, and then this is an actual um, journal that I made, so that's got to be stored somewhere else. Um, this goes to something else. <laughs> See, so you just kind of go through it and you realize this is a cool um, thing that a friend gave me. So I'll put that in the um, pile there. All right. So some of these things are things I've had for a long time that I've been wanting to put in something. I took them off of my, my bulletin board. So these are all memorabilia. So these would be a good thing, actually, to um, maybe somehow together <clears throat> so that I can remember that and I'll put that in this pile of things that I know I want to use but they're not um, just random ephemera if that makes any sense I don't know then containers will just go to the side this is something that I got at the thrift store once and I just think it'd be cool so it goes there and this was the little scroll that was I don't know was this the scroll that was on it? Maybe. Yeah, I think it was. There's like a scroll of paper on it. And I just started to decorate that. So, <laughs> oh goodness. I don't think that was that. That was something else. See, so this is an unfinished project. Should go on the top probably. Um, let's see what else I got in here. I've got a cool tool for like pouring things. <clears throat> these are all tags that are in various states of usage and they should go in the tops also um i like the idea of kind of trying to put these things together so that i know what, that they're all the same item so i'll put those on top um this is a fabricy thing so that needs to go elsewhere some more tags and this is a mark maker that i saved so i'll put that at the tools and then another empty container. And later I can use those containers, you know, to um, store something in, um, in the cart if, when I get to the next level of organization. All right, let's use this bag next. All right. <clears throat> this is some wallpaper that I bought at, in the uh, antique store. Oh, this bag's got a lot of stuff in it that is from uh, recent purchases, so... Um, these are just little rags. These are a tool. So I'll put them in the tool shelf. We'll just go through this bag and, you know, I won't bore you with all of <laughs> my sorting. This is something that, um, see now they're, they're starting to get full, but these are items that I want to use for a Christmas journal. So that can go in the top. <clears throat> Another little rag. Um... This is a fun piece. 
So, so now I'm thinking, yeah, see, uh, that's all right. I'll put them there. And then I'll have to do a secondary. Here's some little containers to put things in. Those are our tools. We'll put them in the bottom. Um, what else is in here? These are some uh, little banner things that I got one time. I'll put those in the to be used file. Some little scraps of fabric on the top because they're recent. This is probably something I should store. I was thinking of using it for a cover for a journal. So I got a, another box somewhere for journal cover ideas. This is some cool ribbon that I, a friend gave me. So we've been collecting things for our journals and sharing them. <clears throat> another piece of fabric that I've used already, but I want it to be on the top in case I want to use it again. This would be some supplies that I just got it recently. Some more supplies, some canvas. So, so I, even as I'm sorting this, I'm realizing that some of this will need a whole other level of sorting. So these are all things that I've gotten recently at um, uh, a store called Leftovers, and I need to decide where I want to store them. So that, this bag is pretty easy <laughs> um, to go through, but it's just fun to show you what. These are some dominoes, some paper ribbon and some other little things. So, <clears throat> but by putting them in there, that gives me a visual. This was some fruit jar rings. Um, it gives me a visual of the fact that I need to sort through that bin then. And I know, you know, where some of these things will go because I keep things uh, sorted by vintage papers and uh, this is a nice book about making bread. Yeah, so I have places. These are books that like I might reuse in art. Uh -huh. This is something that is made and needs to go on the top shelf. These are more things that are for inspiration from the thrift store. Some wallpapers. So this top one's getting full, but that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is a whole bunch of different um, ribbons and stuff, so let's put this in there. And that will be, again, something that I will sort and put in the drawer where that stuff goes. Some more wallpapers. But it's nice to get out of this bag. Here's a cool stamp that I got. That I'll put that with tools. Um, another tool to cut out coupons or cut paper with. Um, <laughs> A cool ribbon for the holiday season. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what else do I have here? Another piece of fabric. Oh, that's cool. And um, mailing labels. This is more like a tool. I'm going to put that down there. Um, some more fabric-y stuff. Yeah, so definitely more sorting to come, right? Some... Uh, things that came to us that they said we could keep even though they were sent to the wrong person <laughs> um a little spool um i think would make a cool design so that'll be a tool some keys um there's a whole other baggie of found items from the leftover store so my second shelf is getting quite full now so i'm gonna have to definitely go through that one again this is just a little metal piece that I'll put down to make marks with. And then I thought this was um, cool packaging from Amazon for another cover idea. So I'll put that with the other cover. And we can now have an empty bag. All right. <clears throat> so obviously I have some more work to do, but I just wanted to show you my process and I hope that was helpful. And um, my main uh, encouragement is, you know, do what works for you. And my process is always an ongoing um, thing. And uh, so, yeah, I hope that was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye!